Okay, class, I'm going to go over what our next assignment is. Uh, it's called your Patronus, your spirit animal. For your Harry Potter fans, you know that a Patronus is an animal or creature that you have a certain affinity or a, a connection to. Uh, Patronus, the, the root word is patron, like your patron saint. So your spirit animal, you're going to choose some kind of an animal that you're going to do a drawing of. Now, what we're going to be doing is we're going to use black and white charcoal on brown paper to do that animal. So here's a great example of that. Here this man has taken a photo of a, of it looks like a bull here, or a cow, and uh, the, the photo is a good photo. It's got a nice range of value from black to white to gray. And what you're gonna be doing is doing a charcoal drawing using a white charcoal pencil or chalk to produce the highlighted areas black to produce the dark areas, and the brown paper are your midtones. okay? So that's exactly what we're going to be doing. So you can choose uh, a pet if you want, although, you know, I'm, I'm getting a lot of kids want to do their cats and dogs, and that's fine, but, you know, I'd kind of like you to do something different. But if you really are, you know, feel super strong about that, you want to do that, that's fine, okay? But I'd probably prefer you to pick something else, okay? I'm not going to grade you down if you do, though, okay, if you don't. Uh, so pick out some animal you have an affinity to. It could be a personal connection or just something that you like, okay? You Maybe you're a horseback rider and you like doing that, or maybe you just like horses, okay? So pick an animal, find a great photo of that animal, and then we're going to do a drawing of that animal in black and white charcoal. Here's a great example of a rhino. Uh, earlier animals were just maybe the heads, but you could do the whole body like this. Okay, um, now these are the guidelines. First, choose your spirit animal. So that pick an animal that you like. Make a list of ideas or reasons why you've chosen that animal. Okay, so think about, don't just, you know, pick something that you feel you have a connection to. Find a suitable reference picture which looks good in black and white. So find that image, probably Google Images. Um, and then what you're going to do is print that as large as you can and you're gonna print it off in the lower level printer out in the hall. It must have a full range of value. That means highlights, midtones, and shadows, okay? Uh, you can use the dodge and burn tool in Photoshop to make it more dramatic if the photo needs to be improved. And you're gonna print it as large as possible, draw it in your sketchbook, okay? And then we're gonna show you later how to transfer it onto the brown paper, okay? And I'll be go going over a little bit um, exactly how to use the black and white charcoal on the brown paper and some techniques for that, okay? So you can do anything you want. Here's a tiger cub that somebody may have, might choose to do for whatever reason. Uh, an elephant, my, my oldest daughter, she likes elephants. She kind of has, she likes them for whatever reason. She actually took a trip to India and got to ride on an elephant, which was pretty cool for her. So let's say you chose an elephant. Here's a really good picture which has a good range of value. Highlights, midtones, and shadows. Here's a picture that really does it. So this was a, this brownish elephant. I converted to black and white, and you can see it's mostly dominated by gray. Okay, so I would say this photo is not that good. Now you might be able to take your burn and dodge tool and make it better, but you might be better off just getting a different photo. Okay, here's a student that wanted to do an owl. He likes a snowy owl, and he said, "There's boy, there's a lot of white in there." So what he did is he took a burn tool and sort of burned it in here and brought out some of those more subtle details in his feathers. So you can do that. He also said, hey, I'd like to do it in black and white, but I'd like to do the eyes in these colors. Totally acceptable. So maybe you do these parts in black and in um, with pastels. So that's an option as well. But for the most part, we're gonna be doing this in black and white only, okay? Uh, here's a kangaroo that's been converted. We took it into Photoshop took the saturation down, turned it into black and white, and there's a really nice photo of a kangaroo. Uh, maybe you want to do the owl just because, hey, we're the Slinger Owls, and that's our school mascot, and you think oh, that's kind of cool. I'd like to do something that has to do with my school. Um, but anyhow, ideas. Uh, choose something. Maybe it's based on your family. You know, Maybe your dad's a fisherman, and you want to do a fish, or he's a hunter, and you do turkey. Uh, think about maybe some animals that are your favorites for whatever reason. Think about your geography, animals that have to do with where you live or maybe what your hobbies are. So, for example, I like rhinos. I just like them. I think they're cool. They have a real a neat look to them. They're kind of prehistoric looking. I like mandrels, which is a type of baboon. And I like gorillas. 
I've never seen, I've seen these in the zoo, I've seen them on TV, and I've seen pictures of them. But for whatever reason, I like those animals, okay? Uh, you might like the Chicago Bears. Now, this is not a good example. This is a graphic image. I have a student named Tanner who really likes the bears. And not instead of doing that, maybe he finds a photo like this and converts it to black and white and uses that bear, okay? I have a nephew who's a hunter, and he lives in Alaska, and maybe he wants to do a grizzly bear because that has a meaning for him, okay? Um, I recently I was in Texas for a wedding, and I was in some stores, and they have armadillos all over the place because that's a pretty common animal down in Texas. It's not common up here, but maybe you want to do something that has something to do with up here. Like uh, woodchucks are pretty common here, and we had one living in our yard for quite a few years. So, uh, you know, maybe a woodchuck is something, or maybe you do a badger because that's our state animal. Okay. Of course, you're going to do a realistic badger, not a logo. Okay. Uh, another option, you could do a morph. Morph is you're going to take two existing animals and somehow combine them in Photoshop and create your own animal. That's an option if you like doing that. Here's a gorilla bird or a, a duck fish. Okay. So that's an option. And the other option would be this rather than just doing an animal as it is with just his head and body, uh, perhaps you do a real creative uh, sort of a collage of animals. I like this. Uh, Looks like a raven or a blackbird done in kind of a cool way. Of course, this isn't done in charcoal, but you're just giving you ideas. So that's what we're going to be doing. And uh, check out uh, Google Classroom. I've got uh, a couple videos that show some how to do a portrait with black and white charcoal and also how to do an animal in black and white charcoal. I think they're good to watch, and you'll have a good understanding of how to do that. So that's our next assignment. You're going to be doing uh, that drawing in your sketchbook, and then you're going to convert it onto the brown paper, which I'll talk about more in class. That's it.